Tremendous free to come out and speak out where they're going through. You know, because they come and speak out and their, their friends or the block know they might say, hey, that should be a coward. If you look for statistics, you will find zero because it's not documented. Domestic violence in Trinidad and Tobago and in the Caribbean has a very long history. And, and one, one could see it kind of goes way back to origins, to slavery, to what happened on the plantation system, um, what happened between the master and, and, and the slave. A lot of the times, men feel unable to speak. They're unable to even to speak to their friends. That's why we end up in the bars. Because we could at least drink it out and probably have a positive conversation or maybe the start of a positive conversation. But by the end of it, we drunk. The Imams need to start giving sermons on domestic violence and the Islamic position on that. The woman put me in court, she forced him out of my house. We have to create safe spaces for men to come out and exhale. Men are under attack. And the reason why they cannot defend themselves is because the system is saying women are always right. <laughs>